Hello everybody, Chef Bob here today and I'm going to make beef stew today in the pressure cooker. Um, it's fairly straightforward and it'll, it's very delicious and it doesn't take a long time. So I've already cut a nice beef roast into small chunks and I'm going to put in the pressure cooker. Okay. And I'm also going to add some coconut oil. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. And I'm going to add a variety of spices. I have salt, pepper, rosemary, uh, basil. And I'm just, you can put in whatever you want, whatever type of spices or seasonings you like. Um, I always recommend to add quite a bit of spices to your food to liven it up. You don't want anything that's just, you know, boring and plain tasting. What I have here is I have a uh, fairly large can of diced tomatoes. I believe it was about maybe 24 ounces. And I also have a can of tomato paste, one of the smaller cans. Okay, we add all that. And now I'm going to get the vegetables. And I've already cut them into a medium size, but we have to cut them down further. And for that, I'm going to use a chopper here. As you see, this makes, uh, makes it fairly easy. It's easier than using a food processor sometimes. It's fairly quick um, and easy to do. And I'll show you. I'll just put a couple of pieces of celery here. And I have the, the cube blade in, so it'll make them into to cubes, if you can see. And I have celery in my tray here. Quite a bit of celery. And again, use whatever you have in your refrigerator. If you have celery, fine. If not, that's okay. I have uh, quite a bit of celery. I also have some carrots. Just got to line it up on the grid. I like a lot of carrots. Some potato. That'll help thicken it up as it cooks. Put more potato in there some green pepper. Again, whatever you have handy in the refrigerator. How about some onion? More green pepper. Green pepper, onion, celery. Let's see, I have some more carrots here. Let's get those in there. Carrots can be a little hard sometimes, especially if they're the larger ones. And just the last couple bits and pieces here. Okay. I'll just unclamp this. And set this over here. And there you go. How long did that take? I don't know, maybe a minute or two. We'll just add all of that. Now I'm also going to add uh, about, what do I have here, two cups or 16 ounces of water. Close our lid, lock it, and then now for beef stew, I like to cook it for a long time and get the chunks really soft, the beef chunks really soft. Uh, the vegetables will tend to be a little softer. If you like them firmer, you'll do it less time. If you don't mind having them softer, like it even softer, then you'll go longer. So I'm going to recommend 30 to 45 minutes. So what we'll do is, now some pressure cookers already have a preset setting here 
This has a stew setting of only 18 minutes. Now if you go at the predetermined setting of 18 minutes, that will be fully cooked and your vegetables will be, you know, firm, you know, about a nice firm texture. I prefer to have them a little on the softer side and also to have the beef chunks a little softer. So I will probably run two cycles of 18 minutes for a total of 36 minutes. So set for 18 minutes and I'm going to run it for another cycle and then we'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, it's been about 36 minutes. I let it go through two cycles and cool down a little bit. So let's see how our beef stew is. Looks pretty good so far. Let's give it a stir. Looks very good. Some chunks of beef. Some of that broth. So it looks pretty good. And this was two cycles or about 36 minutes. Let's give it a taste and see how it is. It's very hot. Mmm. Very good. Now, the vegetables are on the tender side, which is how I like it because I did two cycles. If you like your vegetables to be firmer, then you'd only want to do one 18-minute cycle. So, there you have it. Homemade beef stew in a pressure cooker. Thank you for watching.